You know what? I'm pissed off. American people are getting screwed by the big banks. And I am getting madder and madder. It's unbelievable. Then this guy walks into my office and says, There's some shady stuff going down. Ladies and gentlemen, the director of The Big Short, Mr. Adam McKay. Adam, the first thing I have to say is I read Michael's book when it came out, and it's fantastic. And as most of Michael's books are, as most of Michael's writing is, just so full of detail, so full of the minutiae. How the hell do you make this into a movie, man? It's about bad math <laughs> and bad banks. Well, you know, that was what excited me about it. I read it, and I couldn't put it down. I read it in one night. My, my first idea was you have to break the fourth wall. You have to play with the form of the movie. And that was immediately very exciting to me. A few outsiders saw what no one else could. The whole world economy might collapse. Is that a format and a technique you use throughout? Yes. Uh, you know, it, it comes and goes. There, there's points where it gets very complicated, where we have to do it. Uh, and then there's points where we go scenic for 15, 20 minute stretches and we don't do it. The fun of it became that give and take. We had an amazing editor on this movie, Hank Corwin. Mm -hmm. uh, and he and I just throughout the whole process were playing with this give and take between talking to the audience, keeping them involved, and when we need to like pull them into the character work. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, I felt like this was a character story. Oh, very much so. I mean, it's, I mean, when you read Michael's book and then you see, you know, Brad and Christian and Steven, I mean, the way these characters propel the story, coming at it from all different directions. Uh, so that was huge. A and they had to hook us because they're all outsiders, they're all wounded. They're all vulnerable. In other words, they're us. So uh, they were the engine that drove the movie. And then ultimately, the, the whole point of why we explain all the esoterica was about uh, it, it, the end point to show how it really isn't that complicated. Mm -hmm. They make it sound complicated, but at the end of the day, if I, the guy who did Step Brothers, can get this, then I think we all can. And well, let's talk about that for a sec, because one thing, you know, it feels like some of the best stuff that you've done in comedy, in fact, fuels right into this. I'm not going to be able to refinance. On all my loans? What do you mean, all your loans? I have five houses and a condo. You talked about the gang, uh, Carell and his gang, real people. I mean, Michael's book is obviously about real people and <laughs> really bad economy going worse by the second. Is Christian's character a real person? Is Ryan's character a real person? Is Brad's character a real person? That's a, a great question. You know, we, we, with each actor, wanted to have a different approach to it. Uh, I gave them the access to the real people. Uh, in the case of Christian and Steve, they really went at the real person. In the case of Gosling, he was loosely inspired by the real person. In the case of Pitt, he's very different than the real guy, so he was kind of inspired by him. So it's, it's varying degrees, but the specificity of the real people definitely infuses all the performances. 